you um, just before I get started. You may have noticed that I've had new videos uploaded that you've already seen before. What's happened is I tried to delete a, a new video I did because I wasn't happy with it and basically YouTube automatically ticks all the um, videos on one page uh, of the, your latest videos so there was 30 videos I deleted it thinking it was deleting one and it had ticked all of the other videos so the last 30 recent videos I did all went down the drain um, I've saved a few of them I had saved on the computer from when I did them before but the majority of them have gone so that's just to let you know why um, you're seeing the same videos uploaded again um, just in case you thought you was going mental like basically that's what's happened so I've got to do a lot of videos again or I mean I've recovered about four or five so far I've got to redo this one because I didn't save it so this is Born Legacy 2 Born Legacy 3 Day 2 um, yeah New Jersey Twerk versus Dougie Twerk um, great energy and just passion aggression he will suit URL like greatly just his style in general like even if he's got mediocre bars his energy will will definitely suit URL going forward so I expect to see him on a lot of cards Dougie um, I watched his battle against Chess wasn't overly impressed with him I thought he was getting a lot of gas from the crowd um, yeah like he's not the worst but it was a lot of gas I'm gonna go 2-1 twerk um, Mo Muller versus Young X. Muller, um, I first saw he's a Coliseum Battle League host, so I first saw him on there. Checked out a bit of him. I think he's very good. Like he, he's got nice punch lines, but I feel that he's got a lot of areas to work on um, going forward. But I think that he'll transfer over to the stage quite well. I just think that he's he's very fresh, so he's got a lot to work on. Um, Young X, a very funny uh, battler, good stage presence, but he waffles a lot for me. He doesn't really have punch lines that hit like that. So I think he'll win the crowd over and get at least one round just because he's got jokes. And obviously people in the building, you've got to think if they're drinking and stuff, they like that side of it. So, I'm, But I'm going to go Mo Muller uh, and I'm going to go 3-0. Um, although I said... Young X could get a round. I personally feel that Mueller is he could get a 3 0, so I'm going to go 3 0. Um, Gutter versus Reaper Rel. Gutter's battle against Yonai was one of my favourite battles I've ever seen um, from like two guys I hadn't seen before at that point. Had Yonai winning that, but Gutter definitely held his own. Reaper Rel, I, I like his um, face paints and like that sort of gimmick that he brings, but. He's a bit inconsistent for me. Some battles I really like what he's doing and others I feel like it's not working. So he's got a good cadence and like obviously the the face paint shit is good. But it's not enough in terms of battling wise. I want to go gut a 3-0. Dre Dennis versus J block 400 or 400 block whatever, however you say it. Um, I quite like J but I feel that Dre Dennis just punch after punch like he's just more suited he's more of that new school um, but a polished version of it I'm gonna go 2-1 to Dre Dennis St. Mike versus Tone Montana St. Mike I like he goes about his business goes under the radar doesn't really get a lot of attention but he definitely brings it um, Tone Montana a veteran in it went away for a long time he's been back a little bit hopefully we get to see more of him going forward more consistently I've got Montana taking this 3-0, but no body. Um, Prep versus Lotaze. Lotaze, he's a bit, I quite like him, but again, he some battles I like him more than other battles. A little bit of inconsistency there. But he usually brings it. Um, he's not the worst I've seen. Prep, like, I just got to give props to Prep because after that shit that happened with Chiller and how Chiller done him like 3 nil body like we hadn't seen prep apart from in other battles just in the crowd and shit on stage but it's, I feel that he's got to be sitting on some fire material for him to consider coming back after the fashion he went out against Chiller um, 
so I'm convinced he's got some fire to come back with because it's too much of a risk otherwise. I'm going to go 2-1 prep. I hope that he brings it because he needs to after what happened with Chiller. Mike P versus Daylight. Now, I'm just happy that Mike P's got a big name like Daylight. Um, he's definitely been working towards it. I don't like the blogs he does, but as a battler, I, I definitely like him. I had him beating Tink 3-0. That Hadouken shit was ridiculous. Daylight, the last two battles I've seen of him against JC and Young Il, it's like the old Daylight again. There was no antics. That's the Daylight I want to see. Um, I just hope he continues it and don't start with the antics again. I had JC edge in that battle but I had it daylight beating Young Eel. Um but this is the daylight we need to see I think if daylight shows up like the last two he should take this battle pretty easily um, I see Mike P getting at least one round though because he's just too nice not to and they've been going back and forth a bit so Mike P is going to come for Day's neck but I feel that Day's just his pen game is up there like there's not many people could, can touch Day's pen I just hope that he, as I said, stays away from the Annex. Um, I'm going to say 2-1 Daylight. And finally, Tech 9 versus Jerry West. Tech 9, um, another one that kind of went out a bit, a bit like Tony Montana. Um, he's come back last, I'd say, year or so, maybe a year and a half. Um, I really like his style. I had to remind myself, go back and watch some of his stuff because I couldn't remember exactly what he was like. But I definitely like his style, a lot of punchlines, um, just passion. Jerry West, one of my favourite newer guys coming through. His battle with Emerson Kennedy was one of my favourites of the new guys. Um, yeah, like, Jerry West is definitely going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to go 2 1 Tech 9, but I could see this going either way, but I feel that Tech 9. He's a, he's a veteran, so I think that's going to help in the battle. Um, Jerry West is one of these new guys, though, a bit like Dre Dennis. Like, they know what to do and how to cater to the URL audience, like, more so than a lot of the older cats. But I feel that Tech 9 will be, there's a lot on the line. Like, he it's a big stage and he's kind of trying to cement his name again. So, yeah, I'm going to go 2 1 Tech 9. Uh, yeah, like, this, like, it's just. Fucking! I was so gutted last night when all these videos got deleted. But it is what it is. This is what helps us build and grow. These things are put in our life to fucking test us and see how we come out on top and see how we deal with it. Like obviously, it might not might not be a massive deal to some people watching this thinking, "What's he on about?" Like it's your like just little videos. But this this channel is like part of my life. So yeah, shout out to everyone supporting. Didn't want to fuck with the real ones.